Hi everyone! So today is December 1st and um, we just wanted to let you guys know that we are going to be doing Vlogmas this year. So you will be getting a video every day um, starting December 1st all the way up to December 25th. And then um, yeah, so we're really excited to join you for Vlogmas and hopefully you'll enjoy watching us and getting to know us a little bit more and getting to know um, our little family. So. Um, right now we just got off of work so we're on our way home and um, I ran out of a few things in my fridge like romaine lettuce so we have to go to Trader Joe's and pick up some food um, hopefully so that's what we're gonna do right now and we'll just take you along today and we have a lot of little goodies planned for, for um, to show you tonight so we'll just take you along so we just got back home and I just wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day today. So today I am wearing just black jeans with some um, ballet socks for or socks for my ballet flats and this like black v-neck camisole. I don't know if you guys can tell and I'm wearing my um, Tiffany bean necklace. And let's see what else am I wearing? Oh, this jacket. This is a really old jacket. It's like like a fit and flare kind of jacket. And I got this at Urban Outfitters like four or five years ago. Back when I was like a freshman in college. So this is my outfit of the day. It's all black. Oh, also I'm wearing a cardigan. And one more thing. I forgot. Uh, this is my um, Tiffany watch that was given to me by my mother and I wear it every single day so that's my outfit of the day. Alright. So I changed into my um, homeware. So what I'm wearing is just this like nightgown slip thing and then I put the sweater on top. This one's like a really old one from Abercrombie and I have these like white I mean black fuzzy socks I got from Daiso because it's been cold. It's been so cold um, in our apartment so I needed something to keep me warm. So yeah, um, as soon as I get home I like to change and get comfortable. We're gonna, we're gonna start cooking dinner right now and we're cooking curry. I made curry um, day before yesterday so it's in a big pot so all I need to do is to reheat it up so it's really nice and convenient and it has um, chicken and sausage and some onions in it and it's gonna be really yummy I'm super excited to eat it I actually had it for lunch already today but I'm gonna have it for dinner because it's really good and I don't mind eating the same thing over and over it's your pumpkin hi there it's Christmas it's vlogmas pumpkin where are you going, sir? Sir Pumpkin. Are you happy, boy? It's Vlogmas Day 1. Look at your great little face, huh? Pumpkin. What did you just eat today? You just had a salmon snack from where? Trader Joe's, huh? Are you happy? Are you happy, boy, Pumpkin? Yeah. You see that popcorn right there? Pumpkin really likes that too. You want some pumpkin? You want to have some? And then we're just snacking on some, what is this? Salami and cheese that Pumpkin really, really wants, but then he can't have it. But he really wants it, but I'm not going to let him have any because it's not good for you, sir. So, um, we ended up not going to Trader Joe's because both of us were really tired after work. Locus, um is really tired, I'm really tired, so we're just like, oh, we don't want to go all the way to Trader Joe's because the traffic was really heavy. So I um, am going to improvise for tomorrow's lunch, and um, instead of eating salad like I usually do, I'm going to just eat some brown rice that I have um, frozen from Trader Joe's too, so I'm going to have that instead. And then just put some leftover curry from my big pot of curry um, with my lunch tomorrow. So. That's what I'm going to do, and we're just waiting for the curry to heat up. And Lucas is really tired today, so um, he probably won't make a guest appearance that much. He'll just show up a, once in a while, maybe, if he feels like it. But um, both of us are really tired. We had a long day at work, and 
We spent time in San Francisco yesterday and we didn't get back until around 9.30 and didn't get to sleep until 10. So that's a really late night for us because um, we have to leave the house at 6 a.m. Um, for work um, because I, I start work at 7 o'clock in San Francisco and I live about an hour away. So it takes me a little while to um, commute and everything. So that's why... <laughs> Pumpkin just tried to steal my salami. What are you doing, sir? You can't steal my salami. Why are you stealing my salami? But yes, that's what our, that's why um, both of us are exhausted because we had a long day yesterday and Lucas ended up driving all over San Francisco, which is really tiring at nighttime and really like a lot of aggressive drivers so um it'll just be me today but i hope you guys will still enjoy it even though it might be um boring just watching me but pumpkin will be featured a lot huh yeah look how cute you are you want the salami but you cannot i'll give you some popcorn Corn bin from Trader Joe's is so so good it has like let me show you guys Okay, one-handed. Okay, maybe Lucas can help me. But, yes. So here it is. The, the box is super cute, right? It says like joy, love, and pup pumpkin's like going crazy over it because he loves this too. Um, inside the popcorn, there is... Where's the label? Oh, it's on the bottom. So there is caramel. Whoops. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's caramel ched caramel cheddar, white cheddar, kettle corn, and olive oil. And this thing is so good. Oh my gosh. I think my every single one of the popcorns are super good. And I think my favorites are um, the white cheddar, the kettle corn, and the caramel. But the olive oil is really good. Um, for a refreshing taste so if you have too much of the sweet flavor stuff you could go ahead and go dig in for that olive oil and that will refresh your taste buds so that has definitely been such a yummy snack and pumpkin has been really enjoying it and I have too same as Lucas like once you start eating this you can't stop so um, I think we're planning on buying some more at Trader Joe's because it's so good and it was only ten dollars I think so we're definitely gonna buy another carton and maybe buy another one for my parents so they can enjoy some too. So here are the products that we are gonna be featuring this Vlogmas this year. So um, these are our advent calendars. So we will be videotaping what's inside and things um, every day in our advent calendar. So here is the David's Tea, 24 Days of Tea Mist or Tea Drew the Tea. 24 days of tea jordan tea and I'm super excited to um, start opening this and isn't it so cute? It has like a little mouse and I'm so excited to try this because one of my favorite um, YouTubers, L. Florence, did tea mist every day um, last year and I love that idea and here's how it looks like um, starting the first. I found number one. But it goes all the way up to 24. And then isn't it so cute? It has like a little mouse family and everything. It's like a little calendar book. And I'm so happy I was able to get this because I thought it was going to be sold out. Because I just bought this yesterday. And to go along with that, I got the um, Nordic Tea Mug um, from David's Tea. That's in the same print as the little mouse here. So it's going to be for this year's tea um, vlogmas. So you'll be seeing um, Lucas and I drinking tea and enjoying our advent calendar from David's Tea every day until Christmas. And um, yeah, let's. I'll open this up in a second. And um, we wanted to get Godiva, um, the Godiva advent calendar, but it's sold out everywhere. And the Lego calendar, like Lucas was saying. But it was sold out everywhere, both of them. So the Godiva calendar sold out during Black Friday, like because Godiva was having a 30% off or 50% off sale. So the $40 advent calendar was 50% off. 
So people only had to pay $20. So um, we looked everywhere and we looked online, but it was just sold out everywhere. So we couldn't get it, but we were able to get the Trader Joe's advent calendar. And we bought this like maybe a couple weeks ago or like a couple weeks ago and it was only a dollar. So here's the 2016 DJ Santa. And here's just like the very traditional Merry Christmas one. And we don't know what kind of chocolates are in here, but it looks like really small, tiny, dainty chocolates, but it's so cute. And we could still have chocolates and I really need to get my nails done. But I'm trying to get out, grow out my last um, gel manicure because my nails are super weak before I get them done again. So excuse my nails if they're really ugly. But let's open up this David's Tea mug. Let's see if I could do it one-handed if I cannot. Okay. Lucas is going to help me even though he didn't want to be featured. But his hand's in there. Huh? Mm -hmm. And his voice. Featuring <laughs> the hands and voice of Lucas. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Look, it matches, honey. Of course, it's the same brand. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the best set. Isn't it so cute? Look at that. It's like another edition of the family of the little mice. I think they, I think last year when I watched Elle Florence's vlog, um, it was penguin themed, but this year it's little mice on skis and I love it. So maybe it could be our tradition to get a new Christmas cup every year. Maybe not. Cause I'm kind of like a minimalist, so I don't like a lot of things, but this is so cute. And this is, the tea smells really good. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm excited. So I just wanted to show you guys before I started using it, but supposedly this tea mug changes color from hot to cold. So when it's hot, you can see the green trees, but when you put, I mean, when it's cold, you can see the green trees. And then when it's hot, the green trees will disappear. So we'll see if that actually works. And this is how it looks like. So cute. I'm excited to try it, and this is the 16 ounce mug. Water boiling for my tea. And then here's the curry. Let me show you the curry. I made this day before yesterday, and it um, actually stays good for a pretty good amount of days, maybe like three days, um, as long as you put the pot inside the fridge afterwards. But as you can see, there's some roughly chopped potatoes, onions, chicken thigh, and some hot dogs because <laughs> that's like the one unusual thing Lucas and I like to eat in our curry we really like hot dogs in our curry so and then I just made some rice here for Lucas white rice for Lucas and since I don't eat as much rice I just have a microwavable um brown rice um from oh, it's hot. from Trader Joe's um and here's my brown rice so, looks like the water's about done, so I'm gonna get the tea ready now. So here's today's tea mist day one. And here's the container, oops, shoot. There it is, I'll, I'm gonna make the tea first and I'll kinda explain to you what's inside this tea, but it's super cute, I'm so excited. It's day one, look how cute that is. So we just added the um, hot water and look, our tree's disappearing. No, it's more has more decoration. Or it has more decoration. That's so cool, it, it's transforming. Hi sir, hi sir, you gotta wait. Oh my goodness, isn't that cool? It actually works. So um, today's tea is called Snow Day and Jor the Nish. And let's see, I'm gonna, ooh, it's so dark. So I'm gonna read you guys the description of Snow Day. Let me see if I can find it on the advent calendar. Okay, Snow Day. So um, it's also called Jour de Neige, which is Snow Day in French, huh? Oh, pumpkin, hello. Hi, <laughs> mystery person. And it has peppermint leaves, cocoa beans, cocoa husk, chocolate drops, white chocolate pieces, um, sugar sprinkles, cream flavoring, peppermint oil, natural chocolate peppermint, and it contains milk. But what's so cute about this is, just a second guys, this has such cute little decorations inside the tea. 
Look at this tea. Do you see the snowflakes inside? I don't know if you guys can see it. But look at those snowflakes. It's adorable. And it smells amazing. It smells like um, peppermint chocolate tea. I'm so excited to try it. It's like a dessert even though like I'm drinking it before my um, dinner. That's okay. We could cheat a little and have dessert later again. I'm gonna try my very first day of tea mist on Vlogmas day one. So, it smells so good. Okay. Ooh, it smells very pepperminty oh, and really? like chocolate. Oh. It's like a very good dessert tea. Mmm. Mmm. It's really hot. Mmm, it's nice. It's very it's more pepperminty than um sweet. So it's nice. It's a nice winter drink because it's very refreshing and it kind of wakes up your taste buds. But I'm kind of sad that it doesn't taste chocolatey enough. What do you think? Is this supposed to be chocolate? Yeah, there's chocolate inside. Mm. Right? So yeah, both of us don't feel that there's much chocolate in it's this. Pretty good. But it's good. It's a really refreshing, very wintry drink. That pumpkin here, pumpkin really wants to try, but he cannot. He wants to eat everything, but he can't. Because he's a he'll get sick if he tries everything. But yeah. And here's how our dinner looks like. Um, we're just having the curry, like I said. So um, here's our dinner. And I like to drown my um, Japanese curry in sauce, completely, like soup. So that's just the way I like to eat it. And pumpkin here is wanting some, as you can see. But we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Locus is gonna watch some basketball. Who's playing today? Cleveland and LA. Cleveland and LA. So the tea is actually really good. After the tea cools down a little bit, you could definitely taste more of the flavor. I just finished my meal, so I'm gonna just enjoy my tea. And I'm gonna, later on, I'm gonna drink some hot chocolate and then eat a chocolate covered ice cream and enjoy my advent calendar chocolate. But the tea's pleasantly nice because I usually don't like mint teas, but it's nice. It's very nice. It definitely tastes like chocolate once it cools down. When it was hot, I was like, ooh, it just tastes like mint. And tonight for dinner, Pumpkin is having um, Merrick's Grammy's Pot Pie made out of chicken. So um, this is his dinner for tonight. And I only give him, this one can will usually last one week. So that's what he's going to eat because he just ran out of his other ones. So. We're gonna eat our dessert right now, so I think we're gonna. Do you wanna start with the ice cream first or the chocolate? Sure. First? So we're gonna eat our ice cream first, so. And then we're gonna open up our advent calendar show. This is his, the DJ, and this is my traditional one, so. <laughs> They're called ice cream bonbons from. Trader Joe's and they're just dark chocolate or just I chocolate ice cream and vanilla inside with some chocolate cookie in there. This is what we ended up getting. Um, it's like a small bite-sized chocolate and um, here's a Santa Claus and his is a little Christmas wreath. Happy Vlogmas Day mm -hmm. 1. Cheers! Mm. Mm. Tastes kind of like cardboard. Hmm. I got a better idea, Sharon. It tastes kind of weird. It tastes kind of weird. Are they going to taste all the same? I don't know. We'll let you know. Mine tastes kind of a little bit like cardboard. I don't know if there's different flavors. Mine but. tastes like a salmon fish roll. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it's all 24 pieces of the same flavor, though. It doesn't oh, really? look like there's anything different. Maybe different shapes. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna end our vlog tonight right here, just because um, we have we had a long day at work today, and both of us are really tired um, from trying to pick up all the advent calendars yesterday. 
we were up pretty late. So we're gonna end our vlog here today and um, we will see you for Vlogmas Day 2. It'll be a little more interesting, so um, come join us for Vlogmas Day 2. Yay, good night guys. There was like a lot of parts that were new compared to when I came as a kid. They had